YouTube crew, what is going on and welcome back. Now, people come to me all the time and they're like, Joe, I know the Warzone movements. I understand strafing. I know how to jump. I know how to side cancel, but I don't really know when and how to effectively use it to my advantage. So today we are taking a look at how Joe, the movement king himself, uses his movement to his advantage to ultimately get more kills. Let's get into it. Now, the format for today's video is going to be very simple. I'm going to go ahead and roll a clip for you full speed, just to kind of intro it and so that you understand what we're about to take a look at. Then we're going to go ahead and break that clip down in slow motion, talking about the movements that he's using and really how he's using them to his advantage. And then I'm going to roll the clip for you in full speed one more time, just so you can take everything that we just talked about and really see it in action in real time. Now, we have three clips that we're taking a look at, and they are great clips, but I was very strategic about the clips that I chose. Joe loves to use stims, but stims add a little bit more of a difficult dynamic to movement because of the timing component. So I avoided clips where stims were the main component. These are all basic movements that you can implement and you can use to ultimately get more kills. Let's go ahead and take a look at clip number one. No, he's not gonna shoot. What the heck? I would kill him. So we picked this up with him right behind this door right here, and he knows that there's people on this side of top prison, but not exactly sure how many there are. That's why he's jumping to gain info through the little window. Now he breaks through the door. He's going to check this corner right here, and as soon as he doesn't see anybody, he's back inside shutting the door behind him. Now he knows that this team is aware of him now. He pushes back up to the door, again jumping to gain info, and he catches this guy pushing him. So he breaks through, and I want a quick pause. I want you to take note of this guy to the left. Pay attention to him. As he is shooting this first guy, he is pulling back into the stairwell to give himself cover from that second guy, and then he gets the down on the first one. Now he's going to shut the door to be unpredictable and keep his enemy guessing. Again, he breaks through the door and notice that his enemy is not expecting him. He slide cancels right and then jumps left to avoid some bullets. And he now has two downs and has only taken half a plate of damage. Now, instead of going for the thirst, which is what I think a lot of you would do, he immediately slides behind cover and starts looking for that next teammate and finally catches a glimpse of him. He misses the first shot, so he peeks behind cover. Then he re-peeks and goes to shoot the second shot, but it actually doesn't shoot. So again, he's behind cover. He switches to his MP40. He re-peeks. He gets a few shots on him before he realizes that he has to reload. So he's back behind cover. Finally, he reloads. He's going to go ahead and re-peek. He hits all of his shots, and he gets the third down. Now he's finally able to get a thirst here and immediately slides behind cover just in case that fourth teammate is on the roof. But he catches on the minimap that the last one's down below, so he knows he's good to actually clean up. Quick summary of things I want you to watch as you watch it again in full speed. First is how he's jumping to gain info in that first little window, and the second is how he's crouching and standing behind the box, using it as cover and using it as a heady. No, he's not gonna shoot. What the heck? I would kill him. Before we jump into clip number two here, I just want to quickly say that my whole goal is to simply help you become a better rebirth player. I took my KD from a 0.72 over a 4 KD, so I really know what it takes to actually get better. If you are looking to get better rebirth, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so my content gets pushed to you a little bit more. And I do videos every single day. So if you want to know when I post, make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. Let's get into clip number two. First team has the passion though. Oh. 
So we start off with him being in a really tough spot. He has no extra plates, and he gets shot by not only this guy right here, but also that person's teammates in the back. So he's going to go ahead and pull back behind cover. Oh, bad, so bad. Now, what he's looking for here is a clean down because he has no plates. Instead of just holding one side, he's going to play back and forth to be unpredictable, keeping his enemy guessing and trying to catch his opponent off guard. Right here, he finally gets a small window. He breaks him, so he's going to push. Now, he does use a stim right here, but the stim's not a crucial component. He would have been okay to push this without the stim. He's able to get the down. He's not able to get the thirst and now that person's teammates pushing him so he's going to pull back behind cover so as he tries to get this thirst to see where the rest of the team is we catch this guy pushing left so joe pulls back quick reload and now he does the same exact thing as before peeks side to side until he can get an advantage he peeks the right side but has no angle now he peeks the left side and actually catches the guy in attack sprint he breaks him but joe takes damage himself and is now low health so he's gonna go back behind cover and hesitate for a second right here i promise you this guy doesn't know what to do and is helpless does he keep shooting well he might run out of ammo does he run he can't do that he'll never make it out alive does he just hold waiting for joe to repeat well joe already broke him in the ttk's too fast which is why joe's able to get this down and then he finishes it off with the guy on the zip let's roll at full speed again first team has the passion though. Let's go ahead and jump into clip number three here. Now, he is going to start off this clip by using a stim, but as I mentioned earlier, the stim in this situation is not a crucial component of this clip. Right, right on me. Inside. What? So let's go ahead and break down this clip right here. Now, he really uses the stim in this situation as a speed boost to get to the shack a little bit quicker. He jumps through the glass, he gets the down, he gets the thirst, but takes a lot of damage in the process and immediately notices this person's teammate pushing in. Now, he starts plating even before he starts jumping out the window and he quickly pushes behind cover while still plating. He doesn't just lay prone. Now, he knows the enemy is close, so he's going to use this wall as a heady to still try to gain info. He might have to low plate challenge this if the guy pushes him, and he catches a quick glimpse of him right here in the window. Now, watch this right here. He's going to shift right to break the line of sight and keep his enemy guessing, then slide back left behind cover, stand up over the heady to gain info, and he catches a quick glimpse. So as he is finishing replating, he is already starting to make his next move. He's going to slide past the window, then slide back to re-challenge. He's able to get the down but again takes a lot of damage in the process so he immediately starts to replate as he's repositioning and replating he hears one to his right and catches a quick glimpse of him right there so he pushes back behind cover again he's not just laying prone he's anticipating enemies pushing so he's moving and he's ready to quickly challenge if he has to he's able to get fully replated and now he's ready to go back in and challenge again as he starts to push back in he hears the revive to the right and is easily able to get that redown but he knows that there's still one more floating around here somewhere so he pushes back behind the wall to play the heady this guy peeks and joe quick scopes him now the one thing that i do want to say here is if Joe had an AR, he's still in a very advantageous spot to win this 50-50. As we're starting to watch it back full speed here, I hope you found today's video helpful. As I said, my whole goal is to help you get better at Rebirth, so if you're looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow. Fire right on me. Inside.